Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Risk of Rain 2 Seek of the Storm modded. We are jumping in this time as the loader, one of the vanilla characters, but one that I really, really enjoy. We have a unique ability here with Reinforce. We can stop our barrier decay and increase our attack speed for 7 seconds. Seems pretty decent to me, so we're going to jump in and see how he goes, this guy. Now, this is a character I haven't played um, on Seekers of the Storm at all, and I just haven't played in general in a while, but I do really enjoy them, of course. We get to dash around and swing ourselves about places. It's pretty fun. He's a really, really fun movement-based character that doesn't really require any movement speed to uh, to be pretty good. So he's kind of nice. But yeah, we can basically prevent our barrier from decaying here and uh, smack enemies very, very fast and hard, which is real nice for us. We are going to want more attack speed, though. Oh my god, no, what have I done? Yeah. Okay, I still got him. Good. <laughs> I thought I kind of swung myself in the wrong direction there. Now, the Gup is actually going to be kind of a hard enemy to uh, to fight here for us because it will smack us as we get close. But the preventing barrier decay thing for seven seconds does make it easier. We got a child firing stuff at us here. I'm not quite sure where that child is. There you go. That little... Um, Little number, the little fist attack is uh, very, very strong for us here. And we can charge it up, m like, quite a lot. I managed to fall there. Luckily, we don't take fall damage as this character, due to just the nature of how much we move around, which makes the guy actually way safer to play on Eclipse mode. In fact, I'm pretty sure the third Eclipse modifier is just the fact that it adds uh, damage to falling. So it basically removes that being a problem. So at the minute, we're just kind of building up some initial money here. I can't believe I knocked that guy so far. Give me you. Give me you. There you go, I got him. We got a scrapper here, that's good. Quickly check what's going on up here. Nice. So yeah, obviously we don't have a lot of range right now, so that is going to be slightly problematic. But, I'm sure we'll get some uh, abilities to deal damage at range. Let's have a little look, see what does this do. Every 30 seconds grants a buff which marks the next spawning enemy. If defeated within 30 seconds, they drop an item. Ooh, if not, they drop nothing and delay the next mark. Marked enemies have significantly increased stats. That sounds kind of interesting. So, I, I'm, yeah, I'm really curious to see how this works. Because that seems like it could be really, really strong. Now, I've got to watch out for the marked enemy. Sorry, there he is, look. There's the marked enemy there. Now, he does indeed have very, very heavy stats in terms of HP. Although it doesn't look like he's doing too much more damage, at least, which is nice. But we are killing him, and he is still marked. Hey, we got an item. Dude, that is... Okay, Shuriken's his range as well, which is nice. That is a very, very good item. Now, I do imagine we're going to have to be pretty on it with killing the enemies when they're marked. Duh, that is going to be quite the task here. Yeah, this guy's going to be a little bit of a problem to easily kill here. Luckily, we do have this going on, which is proving to be quite effective. And we can slide back to him straight away. We're building barrier like crazy. So we're just going to get another item from this guy. If so, this is a really, really good item. It's going to make things a lot harder, like, enemies-wise. Okay, so that guy didn't drop an item. So I don't think we killed him fast enough. Ooh, this is going to help. So that enemy we didn't even kill at all. Right, I'm actually going to have to go and try and find some chests and stuff now, because I haven't opened a single chest yet. I'm going to quickly go and grab that, though. I want to have m multiple turrets around to help us out. Because when the uh, buffed enemy spawns, it's going to be good to be able to take them out quickly. I did see a chest down here. Yes, I did. It's actually pretty good. Bit of movement speed after we uh, after we take damage. Uh, sorry, not take damage. Kill an enemy. But this guy we're definitely going to kill quick enough. There you go, we get an item. Roll of pennies is not great, but it's at least a bit of help. We got Bungus there. I'm going to go with this. Right, where's our other chest? I'm not really seeing many at the minute. There's a chest. So our buffed enemy's probably already spawned, although I don't know where. 
Oh no, nope, just spawned now. This is a kind of a hard one. What, what's that weapon that we've got there? Unfortunately, the gups are a really, really hard enemy to deal with. Chance to bleed, striking enemies reduces that armor. That's actually really nice. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to ditch this guy. Because I just think he has too much health for us to deal with. We're going to die if we're not careful. Luckily, I do have a healing drone helping me out here. Another drone there as well. On activation, grants 100 armor, 25% damage, 75% attack speed. Oh, dude, that's amazing. Okay, I like that. Okay, that is just a scrapper. Right, where's the rest of our chest here? I don't even know where our teleporter is, actually. Dude, that 12 seconds of stuff there is going to be... Especially the, the, the regen. The regen's very important for us right now. Where is our teleporter? So this marked enemy is still just chilling, so we kind of got to kill him. I'm just going to ignore him for this stage and wait until the next stage. Where on earth is our teleporter? I have absolutely no idea where it is. Okay, wait, I think it's up there, look. It looks to be. Focus Crystal, of course, amazing as this character. Mm, kind of fumbled that a little bit. Is that another turret over there? Yes, it is. I'll grab that. There's also another drone there as well. I'll grab that too. Thank you. And another chest here. Okay, I managed to find a good few extra things. I've, I've spent way too long on the stage at this point, but oh well. Oh, okay. Kind of nice. Let's try and get out of here. Oh, there's another chest I missed over there. Missing so many chests right now. Fire shield is actually pretty nice. And we'll pop up here. Weird place for a teleporter to be, but there you go. Right, so we pop out our ability and our Q at the same time to get some really good stats going. Stone Titan, where has he actually spawned? Okay, he's just spawned down there. Makes our life a bit easier. Sadly, our turret's not doing anything because of that. Oh yeah, that's really nice. We can open this up while we're doing this as well. Decent amount of extra little crits and things going on here. I like that. Yeah, we've almost got him already. Perfect. I'm hearing stuff dropping, but I'm not sure what. Yeah. Torrent's doing a good job. Start of each stage, get one essence. That's pretty decent. And we also got an item here. I think that's from our thingy enemy there. Um, increase critical strike chance and attack speed for each shrine activation until the next stage. Passively increase critical strike chance by one and attack speed by one. Wow, that's a uh, that's great. So in theory, this enemy should also give us a um, activation of dropping an item, dude. Okay, fair. What item is that? Ah, oh, it's just Bungus. How dare you? There's a scrapper over there. Let's go use it. Bungus, be gone. I think the rest of the stuff, actually, actually roller pennies, I don't really care for. Dude, that hit me so goddamn hard. Get back here, you coward. Where are you going? Dude, get back here. Stop. There you go. Right. That was very annoying, good sir. And what was the other thing we wanted to scrap? Uh, b b b uh, there you go. Right, we're good to go. Took way too long on this stage, like an insane amount of time actually, but it is what it is. Let's go to the next stage. We got some really good stuff to set us up though. This, this um, lunar item seems really interesting. Definitely had some difficulty, but the fact that we can get regular items is kind of insane now. I like that a lot. And we get an essence to start each stage. Attack speed, definitely. And is that a large chest already? No, it's just a regular one, okay. 
Okay, let's hang around our turret for a little bit, because that um, is a triple turret, which means it's going to be doing some pretty good damage. I've also got that over there. I'll uh, make my way over there. Right, don't go too far out the map, my guy. Yeah. We get ourselves this, which is attack speed. Good, good. Well, only while we've got our thingy open there. Right, you need to come over near this turret, my good friend. That would be rather good of you. There we go. It's doing damage. Did we get him? That didn't. Oh, that did get him good. Okay. Right, we got our next big boy. Can we get over near our turret, big boy? Next item. Dude, that's such a good ability. Every five enemies slain, current stacking damage bonus. Nice one. Let my turret deal with that guy. What we got going on over here? Both a random stat. Increase random stat. Um, hover over the item to see the current bonuses. Terms of movement speed, yes. That's so good for us right now. This guy's going to have so much health, I've got to be really careful. In fact, in fact, in fact, I have almost died. Let me quickly just get the hell out of here. I killed those enemies literally just to get movement speed. Again, we need to kind of chill near our turret here. We're not going to get any of these folk killed. Damn it, I missed him because he got jumped into the air by my turret. Okay, we got him. See, that guy didn't... I don't I don't really know what is the reason for some of them giving items and some of them don't. Because that um, one on the last stage was alive for ages and then still gave me one. Hits to deal more than 4% damage, also inflict bleed. That should be really good for us. That guy died in one. Also inflict bleed. Let me just take a little look at that. Um... Bleeds on enemies for each 110% um, of skill damage recharges every 10 seconds. That seems pretty good. Ooh, a red item. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's it's not the best, but it helps, definitely. It helps. I need to be using my abilities a little more often now. I've got a better cooldown on them as well, so I can move around a bit faster. Thank you, turret, for summoning. I just love as this character that you can just literally fly around. Another big chest here. Fuel cell is really, really good. And I'll take the extra attack speed here as well. Obviously it relies on us keeping our shield up, which isn't always going to happen, but... Yeah, get back over here, you. Got him. See that time? No item. I'm not really sure what counts for giving us an item and what doesn't. Got a chance shrine there, which will actually give us some crit chance and attack speed for using. So we will. Ferrofluid is actually pretty decent for us here. Oh, that's also pretty good. Extra melee range. Yeah, if we take a look at both of those, the Ferrofluid um, is going to... Your melee attacks create a continuous pulling vortex and gain some crit chance. Um, and this is going to be 12.5% melee range. Um, and yeah, also 5% damage. Both of those are really, really nice. Another drone. Might as well take the drones. Okay, let's just do the boss now, shall we? Let's 
gonna try and take you out first. Dude, you died instantly there. Backup mag's really, really good for us here. So it means we can dash around easily. Don't know what that is. Increase armor. Uh, that's that's pretty decent. Although I would scrap that if given the opportunity because it's a conditional armor, which isn't the best. But I don't think we have a scrapper on this stage, unfortunately. We do have a blue portal though, which is potentially kind of nice. Oh, there's a chest there that I missed. Yeah, I've not seen a scrapper so far. All wait, let's have a look see here. Um, but, uh, 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 there it is. All enemies with eighteen percent um move and attack twenty percent slower. All enemy projectiles in that range also fly twenty percent slower. That seems really good. We're always going to be within that range of enemies. I think that bleed item, by the way, that I got is is what's absolutely destroying some enemies. Just on occasion, we just, like, insta-kill an enemy, which is really, really nice. It seems to be ever since I got that bleed item. You know, drones are probably helping out a good amount as well. Ah, oh, dude, that's an amazing item to get as well. Lovely. We have some really good stuff here. Lots and lots of greens. I would be tempted to get rid of my greens for a decent enough red, though, but it'd have to be, like, either really melee-focused or just some really heavy damage, because my greens are decent. They're a bit all over the place right now, but they are good. Strike chance, I think. Oh, we get another stack of this. What does having a different stack do? Let's have a look. Um... Item rarity scales with stacks, minus 10% per stack. Okay, we'll be definitely grabbing In fact, I might try and re-roll and get a few stacks of this, because that seems like it could be pretty good. Obviously, I might have to spend a bit here, but... The Gesture of the Drowned is honestly not a bad idea as well, to be honest. There's another one. There's another one. Okay, this is an item that I quite like. Right, what we got here? That's terrible, unfortunately. We do have more fuel cells, which is potentially good. But I think we're out of here. I could do void fields, but I don't think I own healing for that quite yet. I think void fields, I need a decent amount of healing to offset the damage from the actual void. Four armor... Probably the armor, yeah. Go check out what's going on over there, shall we? Kill you first. We get a red item straight away. What's this do then? Um, 100% chance on hit to fire a laser that deals 60% damage and bounces two times. Right. This seems really strong so far. I also really... What the hell am I stuck on? Am I... Okay, I just got locked by this guy. Thank you. Good, good, good. Oh, speed is very, very nice. Alright, we cleared the void seed pretty goddamn quick there. Boss damage, thank you. Hey, getting a few stacks of this, uh, this item with the challenge enemies seems very, very good. Lots of money early on there. Having the, um, what's it called? The purse, smart shopper. Bit of extra money off enemies killed. It's really nice too. 
that's really good as this character. Normally, an item I don't particularly like, but this character already has built-in barrier effects, so it's really good. Increased base damage for enemies killed with more than 1,900 HP. Interesting. By up to 40% damage. Seems good. Don't think I'll be taking another active, to be honest. This one is automatically going off with Gesture of the Drowned and giving us some pretty goddamn good stats, I have to say. Warp Decker I don't particularly care for. The hell's that? 33% chance on taking damage to freeze a random enemy in 50 meters. Ah, uh, that's not great. I'd probably get rid of that if given the opportunity. Taking damage increases attack speed. That's really good. Okay, I've definitely got a, a list forming in my head of the things I want to remove. But what on earth are you? Are you invisible? Oh no, it's just one of these guys. Okay. Really? Did you go underground the moment I struck you then? Seems like you did. See, that enemy didn't get anything fro from there. This lowering uh, armor on bleed seems to be real good for us right now. We did get an item there. It's a good one as well. Hey, here's a scrapper. Okay. Um, boom. 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 Let's not die while we're doing this, shall we? Did I kill that guy or not? I'm not quite sure. Right, uh, da -da -da -da. get rid of that. Get rid of that. Take care of you. Ash Storm's approaching is going to be bad. Because all of these enemies are going to get electrified, which is not good for us. That's actually pretty good. Um, let's just quickly take a look at what items I want to get rid of as well. Um, honestly, personal shield generator and the salvage wires can probably go because I'm just not really using them that effectively. Same with the uh, the coin. And the... Uh, to be fair, that's not too bad for keeping us alive. Although 25 armor really isn't that much. It's always annoying trying to utilize a fucking scrapper in the middle of combat. I just wish it paused the game. Right. I just wish they were in the items were in the same order in the scrapper as they are when I'm looking at them. I think we're we're good with everything else, right? Take that as well. Another scrapper right there. Have we even seen our teleporter yet? I don't even know where it is. Oh, it's just over there. Look, I see it, I see it. These storms are really cool, but scary. <laughs> I'll take another one of them, please. Um, I don't think any of these really matter. War banner. Back this way we go. Stop spreading lightning everywhere. Okay, wait a minute. There's an enemy here that I need to kill. He 
absolutely tanked that. Oh my god, this guy's so tanky. My god, guy. Can you even drop an item? How dare you? Right, go back over to this other scrapper that was up here, and then we'll do our boss. I just want to get rid of the items that I just picked up, because they're a bit meh. Because this storm going to end. There you go. Steady mug, I'll still keep the... I don't even know when I, when I got steady mug, but I'll take it. Constant flow is really good for us right now. Just a bit of movement speed. And here we go. This this item is is absolutely amazing. Oh, I insta killed that guy. Okay. You're still getting struck by lightning, are you? Oh, dude, that constant flow allowing us to like control ourselves in mid air more more easily is really really nice. Good. Ooh, we got gain full invulnerability and 100% movement speed for the first 80 seconds of a stage. Oh, damn. Invulnerability and movement speed is kind of insane for the first 80 seconds. Some more shurikens. I don't know how good the shurikens are, to be honest, but they seem to be doing something, so I'm not going to get rid of them. Cool. <laughs> oh, we got another sacrificial band. That thing seems amazing. And uh, if you if you sort of look at the synergy I've got going on here, um, in fact, so let's just take a look. This is four percent chance to bleed and, um, and extra bleed duration. I could, in fact, I could and I will. That was terrible. That was. Go over to this here and get some stacks of that. Cool. So now, if we go over to our inventory, we have, wherever that is, we have... 3.75 extra duration and a massive chance to bleed. And I believe that'll affect the bleed from this as well. So that should result in some very high damage, I would think. Right, let's get out of here. Wait, do I have anything more I want to scrap? I don't remember. Let me just take a quick look. Yeah, I'll scrap that. Cool, let's go. Feeling very good right now. This uh, crazy amount of thumbtacks I have, I feel could be pretty amazing for us. The fact that we've had a few legendaries out of this, um, this item as well is pretty good. Attack speed... Movement speed. Oh, dude, yeah, that bleed is insane. And remember that bleeding reduces armor as well on top of that. Um, eh, that's not terrible as a melee character, actually. 4,600, okay. Not doing too bad on that already. Got good movement speed now. That's really good to get another one of them. And I say they're not really good until you get with like three stacks. What we've got going on here. That's not amazing for us. Yeah, I'll take that. Why not? Oh, man. This bleed build is 
nuts. Hit an enemy for bleed and it just starts dying very, very quickly. Bungus, of course. Bungus is always with us. I'm going to quickly do a bit more of a cursory search around for any more green 3D printers, if there's any. There might not be, but it's worth a check. Ah, we can't even go that way. Right. All good. Oh, god damn it. I slot myself right into that gap there. What are you doing? Oh, really? You give the champion to this little fella? What annoying enemy to give the champion to there. Even on this big boy, look at that bleed. That's not great, but we'll take it. 3D printer there. It's another thumbtack printer. Okay. There's another scrap at this floor we can take advantage. Okay, I'm not seeing any other printers for anything else. Just go kill this guy. That was pretty fun. Engineer's tool belt, not great for us either. Right, we're nearly there. We're nearly at the 4,000... What was it? 4,500 or something like that? Oh, fuck. Hell yeah. Base damage by 8%. Don't mind if I do. Even on one stack of bleed, the damage is pretty good. It's hard for us to actually build bleed stacks quickly because our fire rate's not the best. But we don't need a lot of stacks, to be honest. Right, that should be enough. Where the hell is it? Where the hell is it? There it is. Oh, my, some characters can't fit through that gap, I forget. Gain a shield equal to 6% of your max HP. Increase total shield by 100%. Shield recharge out of danger. So that's 50% sooner. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I kind of regret getting rid of some of my other shield-based things now. Because that is pretty good. Oh, dude, the Ash Storm again. That's brutal. Right, get a good amount of money here, and then we'll go shopping, because we've got plenty of chests that we know where they are. Got to be very, very careful with the storm about. Because the lightning enemies do do quite a bit of damage. Especially when they're already buffed by us. Did I kill that enemy? I did, I got a red item. 3% chance to freeze enemies and deal 9% damage to frozen enemies. Kind of nice. Oh, what 3D printer is that? Crowbar. Crowbar is actually a pretty good one. More health, lovely. We've got quite a lot of health going on right now. Right, let's go for some more chests. We've got a good amount of money now. Here's one. That's fine by me now. Okay, I saw some chests over here. An equipment drone, but I don't think I want that right now. Corona Bubble's actually not bad. I don't mind Corona Bubble. Definitely like attack speed, thank you. That's not too bad. Didn't get an item there. Didn't think we would. Ah, oh, movement speed. Yes.
Sometimes we like absolutely wreck an enemy, and other times we don't. It must be that 10 second cooldown on that bleed item. Right, let's go. Oh, wait, there's a chest up there. Grab that first. And then we are ready to bounce. Oh, that's actually really good. I'm kind of surprised I didn't have one of those already. Get down here. Come fight me. We did get a Colossus here. Just stay behind him and we'll be okay. Look at that bleed damage. Oh my god. We got him. Go down. We got him straight away. There's an Imp Overlord somewhere. Yeah. By somewhere, I mean very dead. Colossus Fist. Yes. That's really good. There's an item somewhere in here. I heard it drop, but God knows where it is. It's probably somewhere inside this guy's body. Or maybe I already picked it up. I don't know. This has been an absolutely insane build. This 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 um this item is too good. Oh dude, it spawned one of these guys straight away. What the hell? I actually can't believe I'm just like living through all this. This is wild. There's just so much going on that I can't keep a track of. But somehow I am. That Colossus Fist did some good damage there, although it seems to like push him into the air quite high. Okay, here's the big boy. How easy will you be? <laughs> Apparently very well. Um, where's my where's my payout? Is it up here? No? Where's my little item choosy thingy? Do I not get that on this stage? Apparently not. Is that a gold portal here? Gold portal? Yeah, why not? Why not do a gold portal? I don't know where my little reward thing went, but... I think I've got enough items anyways, so... <laughs> oh, Insta-killing enemy like that is beautiful. Right, I'm going to get a good amount of money here, aren't I? Try and get a few of them in a line so we can kill multiple with one hit. Where's the stone titan? Or is that my ability doing that? It might well be my ability with those little red things. Oh my god, it's a buffed up child. Whoa, the lag spikes are getting real now. Oh no, there he is. Red whip for more movement speed. Hello, good sir. If you want to perish, that'd be fine. Oh my god, when bosses die now, it's getting a bit teggy. Right, do that. Another child. Do that. Do that. Do that. And then where's the last one? There's one more, right? Oh no, we've spawned him. Oh dude, it buffed Aurelia. Okay, it doesn't matter though, because whatever whatever we just did then destroyed destroyed them. And I'm going to go through the gold portal here, not the green one. Thank you. 
Yeah, the, the, the thing that procs that bleeding every 10 seconds seems to do just absolutely ridiculous damage. Hello. Goodbye. Like, it just lags my game whenever I hit an enemy now. Right. Hello, little enemy. Do you want to back off? Right, teleport is probably down there. Yes, it is. Honestly, at this point, I think we just make our way down. Well, I've got so many of these enemies spawning on this stage. It's not normal, right? I'd like that item, please. Right. We have such insane movement speed now, it's kind of wild. Dude, so many of these enemies, what's going on with this? Oh my god, you see that lag. I think I got an event, you know. Because it's literally only these enemies. And I know that there is events in the game, they're pretty rare, but... There's some mods that add events. Either way, I'll carry on. Two items from that chest. Interesting. <laughs> Go with this, because my shield item. Thank you. Another storm. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's the best of energy one. That's pretty decent. Hello. You're a hard enemy for this stage. God, that's a big boy. Bigger than the last ones, right? So many debuffs on him. Okay, the, the darkness has enveloped us here. Perfected Luna, oh what the fuck? Excuse me? I'm barely doing any damage to him. Oh wait, okay, I see, those are the enemies, not the big guy. The big guy isn't exactly part of this, it's these guys I'm going after. Oh, that's my dude. That's why. I see. Oh my god, the lag. Even with that, I've got what's it called on? Um, lossless scaling. It's because the frames drop so hard. What legendary we get there? Shrink rare. Potentially decent. Oh, dude, uh, I am taking insane damage right now. Unsure what from. Thank you. These storms are savage. I don't think there's anything that's going to do us better for the boss, right? Let me just get the hell out of here. No, there was an item right there. Right, our stats must be nuts right now. I mean, we have like... 3,200 HP, which I feel is pretty wild. I 
I don't think I can flick myself directly up to the uh, thingy area here. Look at how many items I have. This is wild. Each stage gains three levels consume this item. That's really good later on. Check what's going on over here. Any legendaries? Yes. What's that? Ben's raincoat? Nah. Okay, nothing really of value there, then. Oh, you've uh, fallen off the map, I see. Was that wise? Did he drop his item down there as well? No, he didn't. He drops it up there, and it's a legendary. Oh, my God. Brain stocks. Is brain stocks good? Kind of. We have arrived. It's tower time. Is this the one where if we leave it, dude, the lag there is insane. Yeah, if we leave it, it starts uh, decreasing. So let's just chill. Oh my god. Dude, this is like, takes forever, my god. Really gotta chill for a while. So I'll just stand here. You literally can't hit me while I'm here, so... The radius is shrinking, though. Oh, dude, another focus crystal. What a great item to get right up, right at the end. Right. No. Some of the other towers are over here. Good, good. Are these the pushy ones? I think these are the pushy ones, aren't they? No? Get bled, boys. Get bled. Oh, this one just takes forever. That's, that's, that's what this one does. Why'd my bread turn to scrap then? What happened there? <laughs> oh my god, this takes forever. And I got sent a meat hook out of it as well. Lovely. Yeah, you go away, you. Oh, I managed to pull him in. Glitchily, but I did. Righty ho. Have we done it yet? No, we haven't. Got another item there, lovely. Shackles. I wish these overlapped so I could do them both at once, but sadly I don't think that's happening. This has become a very laggy run, but it's still fun. 
I wonder what item it is that's lagging so bad, though, because I feel like it wasn't that bad until a certain point. <laughs> it is pretty funny, though. Police hoodie. 40% duration on the next uh, buff. It's kind of interesting. Can be good. There's a thingy over there that I didn't see. That might be the uh, jump pad. Let's go have a look-see, shall we? I think it is, actually. I think this is the way up. Yes, it is, baby. The way up has been activated. And away we go. Right, how's the boss actually going to go here? Cause I'm really not sure. Holy crap. <laughs> um, whatever bleed we have is... Yeah, that, that item is doing some absolutely nuts damage right now. I feel like a god. I made him small, look, teeny tiny. Yeah, so that didn't trigger it. I'm gonna wait until it's ready again, then hit him with it. I'm hitting him with a good amount of uh, damage over time effects, just not the right ones. There you go, that's, that's it. That's the one. <laughs> if he hits me with that, by the way, if he, if he gets the item and hits me, I'm so dead. Can I hit him while he's doing this? No, I can't. I thought I, I thought I had to try. It's gonna take forever to take all my items. Um. Hmm. <laughs> he took one of my items and it killed him. I've never seen that happen before. Either way, I'm happy about it. Here we are. So many dead commandos. <gasps> that hit me, but it did like absolutely nothing. Right, if you enter the circle, you are fucked, but otherwise I'm just going to kind of let you do your own thing. Otherwise, I don't really care. I don't dare enter the circle. There's so many of them, but they're, <laughs> they're not getting close enough. Quickly just do that real quick. Just to... Thin the herd a little bit. Where's my special enemy? My targeted enemy. Okay. We're all good. We are done. Let's get in the ship. And away we go. 
Hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a very, very fun run, if a little bit laggy, but still very, very fun indeed. And yeah, hope you guys did enjoy, because I very much did. Um, I don't know, it was just wild. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.